we're gonna start this morning talking about InDesign and specifically we're gonna talk about why it's awesome and how to use it. We'll talk about some design tips and some recommended resources. Uh, we'll start off today just talking about really what is InDesign because it turns out that a lot of people aren't sure. And I know some, some people have been using it for a while and feel pretty comfortable with it. And other people, it is completely unfamiliar. And you know what? That's just fine. That's what we're here for today. So let's talk a little bit about what it is. It's part of the Adobe suite. So if you have the suite, you may already have InDesign and maybe you've just never opened it before. Or maybe you did open it and after a mild panic attack, you closed it and just promised to never touch it again. So I want to get you past that fear because it's not scary. Maybe if you think back to before you ever used Photoshop, I bet the first time you opened Photoshop, that probably felt pretty overwhelming as well. And InDesign is also a very sophisticated program. But the genius of it is it's also very simple to use. So that's what we'll do today. But how it fits into the suite, as not everyone realizes, is of course we have Photoshop, which everyone's familiar with. That's for editing photos, right? Pixel-based images. So that's Photoshop. We tend to make Photoshop do a lot of things as photographers. I heard a joke once that someone said photographers could probably find a way to balance their checkbooks in Photoshop if they tried hard enough. I thought that was a good joke. But uh, I hope no one really actually tries to balance their checkbooks in Photoshop. But uh, so Photoshop is for editing raster uh, pixel-based images, and on the opposite spectrum, we have Adobe Illustrator. And Illustrator is for creating vector-based artwork, so illustrations, right? And in Illustrator, you use the pen tool to draw paths and make your artwork that way, so it's different than Photoshop because of the vector information. So they're kind of like opposite ends of the spectrum there. And then InDesign, I like to think of it as kind of being in the middle because InDesign is a layout and design program. So InDesign is a way to combine the images that you have edited with Photoshop, with maybe some illustrations or graphics or things created in Illustrator, and then you can add text and all of that good stuff. So it's the place where you build all of the stuff together and make something new. I also like to think of it as Photoshop's BFF because they do work really well together and we will look at that today, um, later this morning. And they complement each other so well that I know that there's a lot of different software programs out there specifically made maybe for albums, but I really believe that because of this interconnection between InDesign and Photoshop, their BFF status, that it, it's an added advantage. One of the things that makes me so passionate about teaching InDesign specifically, besides that it's so awesome, is I really feel passionate about liberating photographers from sort of the confines of trying to do everything in Photoshop. Obviously, we know Photoshop is amazing but it has a specific purpose, right? And InDesign has its own specific purpose, but we, we love our Photoshop, and I think sometimes this quote is very apropos. When we, it says, when the only tool you own is a hammer, then every problem begins to resemble a nail. And that's why we, I think we try to make Photoshop do everything because that's the tool we, we often have, that's the tool we're comfortable with. So we start pounding every nail with, with Photoshop. We go looking for nails to hit with Photoshop. So I think that's, that's an interesting quote. But InDesign has tons of advantages. So first of all, because you get to work with a single document and I think that's, a huge advantage. If you're working in Photoshop, if you're designing albums in Photoshop, for example, or even some of the plugins that have been created to make Photoshop more sort of album friendly, uh, those are plugins that are trying to make Photoshop do something it wasn't really intended to do. Photoshop was never intended to have multiple pages, to create multi-page documents. That's not what Photoshop was for, right? So. In InDesign, you get one document, 
versus in Photoshop and some of the plugins, you have multiple PSDs that you have to kind of manage and put together as one book. But in InDesign, it's one document. And I think for just a simplicity standpoint, like what we talked about yesterday, and wanting to simplify everything, InDesign helps to make that possible. Another advantage is that it's really easy to edit and to view, rearrange your pages because they are in one document. We'll be looking at the pages panel today and how you can easily rearrange them. So it gives you a lot of flexibility as you design that album into the story, right, that we know that albums are. They really become a story of the day and it's so helpful to me, I feel like, as a designer when I'm writing that story with photos that I have the ability to see where the story's going, to see where it, it has been, and I can see that all in one place and move it around and it's very fluid. And I feel like it really helps me see the book as one complete story instead of 20 different PSD spreads, for example. So you'll see that today. The other thing that's super awesome is that working with InDesign makes you independent totally a free agent. And yesterday we talked about how great it is to have freedom and flexibility with your business and your pricing model and so that you can really be in control and do things what you want, how you want. InDesign really helps make that happen on the production side of everything because you've got one tool that you can do almost anything with, pretty much anything. And what's nice is when you want to explore different album vendors and you want to find the book that's really going to represent you and your brand and one for maybe weddings, if you want something different for portraits and all of that, you have one tool that you can work with and you have the independence and freedom to switch vendors as you need to, as your needs change or your tastes change, you can switch and you've got that flexibility. I know that a lot of the vendors have lots of um, their own software that helps you design for them, and I think that's really nice. But one of the challenges is that you might get really wrapped up in that, and then if you want to try another book from someplace else, you have the whole learning curve again of maybe learning a new software for that specific book. And InDesign gives you the flexibility to try things wherever you want, and you can do it all with one tool. So you've got one learning curve, and I love that. It's also multi-purposeful, if that's a word. Um, so you can use it not only, of course, for album design, as we will be doing today, but you can use it to design all of your marketing materials. You can use it to design um, blog boards. I'll be showing you how I actually use InDesign for blogging this morning, which is really fun. And um, PDFs, you can make eBooks with it. You can do, I made the slide deck that you're looking at right now. I designed all of this actually in InDesign, believe it or not. Even though I'm sharing it with you through Keynote, I built it in InDesign. So <laughs> I use it for everything. I would balance my checkbook in InDesign if I could. Um, I just think it's that great. <laughs> So um, it also has tons of export options, which is super because sometimes for one album vendor, they may prefer that you export a PDF and send them that. Another vendor may want JPEGs. You've got all kinds of options. Those are probably two of the biggest, um, for albums anyway. If you're doing EPUB stuff, that's different. But it's got lots of options and really, the bottom line is that multi-page layout and design is what InDesign was made for, right? And if you ask anyone who's a professional designer, they will tell you they use InDesign uh, for their work. And I, I love it because when I've been out at conferences and stuff, people will come up to me and they say, I'm so glad to hear that you're helping photographers be introduced to InDesign because I truly think it can be life changing. It's so fantastic and your albums can really just take on a whole new level um, of speed and efficiency and they're gonna look great.